How to check winding resistance on a 23460 volt 3 phase 60 hertz 9 lead motor. Tools needed. A fluke meter with an ohm setting. Cross the probes to make sure you are getting a reading. First check continuity between terminals T1, T2, and T3 to ground. If continuity is found, stop. The windings have a short to ground. With the brass jumpers installed, check continuity phase to phase. Check from T1 to T2, T1 to T3, and T2 to T3. Continuity should be consistent, plus or minus 10% as a guide. If it varies greatly, the windings are compromised. Next check the individual phases. To do this, remove the nuts and brass jumpers to isolate the phases. Check individual phases to ensure all are consistent. Verify all three phases have consistent ohm readings plus or minus 10% as a guide. Check from T1 to T4, T2 to T5, and T3 to T6. If ohms are inconsistent or at zero, the winding is compromised or a lead may be swapped on the terminal board. Make sure no resistance from T1 to T7, T2 to T8, or T3 to T9. If ohms are registered, winding could be compromised or a lead may be swapped at the terminal board. If you're not getting the same results or have any questions, please contact Nord Drive Systems.